This meeting is being recorded. All right, thank you. Um, we, I feel like we, uh, we meaning mostly me dropped the ball on a, a, a message. So, I, uh, you know, like a, a gratitude message for, you know, to acknowledge teacher appreciation week. And we, we talked about it. It got lost in the shuffle uh, just unintentionally. There's a lot going on. Um, so I thought maybe it would be good, Jenna, if we could like really, you know, kind of maybe, um, get something nice out. Shannon had talked about getting like, um, you know, like a gift, you know, a staff, you know, something for the break room for the, for the schools. Um, I think, I think it's important and, um, okay, John, you're going to have to change. Oh, you know what? doesn't matter. I think you might be able to change his name. I was looking at that just now. Well, what's my name? It is Jillian Trapini Huff because. No, oh, that's cool enough for me. <laughs> uh, it, it's not looking like it. Interesting. Oh, wonder if it has to do with. Because I sent him my link. Uh, I can rename him. Oh, great. Okay. Um, Make it a good name, please. Max Power or something like that. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's going to have to be good enough. Yeah. This is the one your mama gave you. It's a strong oh. name. <laughs> All right, let's see. I mean, I, you know, I can just start a doc and we could, we can, we can get something out, I think, tomorrow for, wait, there's a staff newsletter that goes out, right? Also? The staff newsletter goes out once a month. The district oh. newsletter goes out every week. Okay, so we, you know, I don't know if the staff reads that. It gets sent to them. Okay. <laughs> maybe, yeah. maybe not. All right. And I know, well, like, for, for example, um, you know, I know at the K-5 schools, they celebrated staff appreciation last week. Um, mm -hmm. And I think at the upper levels, it's happening this week, right? And that has, oh, okay. happened, that has happened in the past just because the parent groups, um, in terms of the volunteers they have and their ability to make it all happen, um, they do it for two weeks. Um, I know that as a district, um, you know, we sent out a letter to staff on Friday and we're doing something to acknowledge all staff um, at the early release time next week. Oh, that's nice. So, yeah. I love that. I love that. My, my, uh, my sister who works in another district, um, yeah, she told me some funny stories about uh, sort of a, a mishap with with their um, staff appreciation. We we're kind of laughing over it. I'm like, oh man, Scarborough, that they, they um, have these beautiful lunches and they have these, uh, you know, they have a special breakfast and they have a, you know, I th I think that the parent groups and and the district does a lovely job. The volunteers for the parent groups, like I was at the middle school yesterday. It's just like wow, right? It's, yeah. it's really nice, the acknowledgement that is provided for staff. I know that they appreciate it very much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, maybe uh, maybe that it would be a nice acknowledgement from us also for all the volunteers. But I mean, they there's a lot of a lot of um, generosity that goes around in, in those things. I, I just am always like, wow, this is so great. Mm -hmm. uh, I. I volunteered a couple of years ago um, and it was a lot of good energy in the room. So yeah, definitely. Uh, okay. So maybe we can, I, I can come up with like a quick Canva tonight and just put it out there for tomorrow to put on as like a thank you to all the teachers. Happy teacher appreciation week. 
Yeah. And, Perfect. And just as like a point of information, like the way that we approach it is it's staff, right? Like it's all staff, not just our teachers, because yeah. You know, again, like and staff appreciation. Staff. That that's really good information. Yep. Um I really need to get like a calendar, like a you know, like a paper calendar or something and, and write these things these things out so we think about them ahead of time i i just can't it's how i run my life too like i'm always trying to catch up um okay so that would be great jenna uh we also um need to really get some information out about this uh round table thing coming up i mean i i know it's we can we can do it two weeks in a row i think it would be fine um we did it tomorrow and the 19th mm -hmm. um in the in the parent newsletters or the the district newsletters and um on facebook and instagram i i think that's plenty we can have the same i can make a canva for that um and uh I made Freyla a, like a, <laughs> I, we were trying to get something a little exciting, like a box for her um, policy notices. Um, and we found a, a really fun, like very eighties inspired one. I, I, that was, you know, I, it would catch the eye. Um, and uh, it's on the free version, so that's good. But uh, so she will be putting, I think, those out um on you know monthly to uh -huh. you um Great. i'll try to make you know double check too because that's a lot of uh just on her but i'll try to i'll try to be on top of that too um so the round tables uh letter oh yeah and i don't i think it would be nice to send out just a letter of notice like Keep your eyes peeled for next month. We're doing a staff drawing. And by the way, um, please feel free to uh, nominate people. Uh, they may be acknowledged at the beginning of the next school year. I don't know. Um, John, like I said, John, uh, or he, John said at the last meeting, um, there were four gift cards and i'd like to send you know thank you notes also mm -hmm. thanks um, for getting those john yeah i'm not sending you a thank you note though um yeah no that that was really great and those those businesses are very very i mean they give them out for the you know the softball and the baseball leagues and the PTA and the, <laughs> they do a lot of giving. It's like a, they're really, really great um, local partners. So I just really want to make sure I get a thank you note out to them. Uh, I thank them enough when I go there and spend all my freaking money. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm well, well, I'm not joking, but you know, <laughs> that's how I know them so well. And uh well, that and going to high school with Pat sure. doesn't hurt. Say, you're a townie. Come on. I know. That is true. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so we, we have that. We, I don't know what we want to do. If we want to bring anything to this round table, I don't, you know, I, I don't know, even just a pitcher of water. Um, I, I don't even, you know, I don't know. It can be really simple. I don't think people are expecting to come and be um, fed. Maybe that's something that we look at in the future. I, 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 you know, just some cups and some pitchers of ice water. Uh, maybe, thinking, maybe we can look at snacks. I'm thinking I'll about other up, round tables. Oh, sorry, um, go ahead, John. No, I was going to say I can just run and pick up. You know those mini bottles of water that we get we get at our little things i'll pick up a sam's club has you know a case of those 
oh, okay. beef, yeah. you know, whatever. And maybe, a, you know, always get like a cookie tray or something. I can pick that stuff up. Yeah. Well, thank you. That would be great. <clears throat> you know, it's just a, a little something, but yeah, water, water bottle is even better. Yeah. Some people, um, you know, might be weird about, you know, drinking out of pitchers of water. Who knows? Yeah. Post COVID uh, leftover. Yep. Um, sure. Yeah, absolutely. No, that's right. Um, oh yeah. I already said the last thing. Okay. Uh, so we're going to get the Canva, the Canva's out for the, uh, but Jenna was going to say something. What was she yeah. going to say? Yeah, go ahead, Jenna. I was just thinking about other roundtables that we've had for like finance and stuff, and no one has brought anything. <laughs> so we can be better than them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I people, think, you know, they want to come to our roundtables. There's a good chance Absolutely. that people will come with kids in tow. And um, I, I wa I'm going to make it known that you know people are welcome to bring their kids if they're comfortable doing that i it's a community thing um sometimes i think people are you know not sure um also i i i feel like uh so i put a bunch of notices in to facebook about budget um budget things that were happening but um facebook imagine you know if you can imagine this doesn't always work the way you want it to. I don't know what happened. I, I noticed last week that the thing didn't come up. So I went into the um, manager and um, it, it wasn't there. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I somehow messed it up when I did it. Some of them went out, some of them didn't. I don't know. I don't know if I can predict that though. Can we create events through the Facebook page so we can put it out there? Like, you know how if you see an event, it says like interested, you can hit interested or you are going. Maybe it's some way that we can track if anyone is interested or seeing it and how many might actually be showing up. I think we have tried that in the, in the past. Didn't we do that? I'm not sure. Let me double check. I feel like we did that last year for some of the budget stuff, but I, I'll, I'll go in and look. It's hard to do it on. Uh... Let's see. Well, I'll, I'll look. That's a good idea. Um, that would actually be better probably than Facebook posts, because I think at least then you get a notification like, hey, mm -hmm. 24 hours until Next, and pe people can put it on their calendars. That I find that personally more useful. So it just shows up automatically once you hit like accept or something like that, and it just shows yeah. up on my calendar. It goes up on your calendar. I think it does on mine too. Um. All right. Uh. All right. So we. We talked about writing some articles, but part of the problem is that they haven't they haven't done a second vote, so a second reading rather, um, and so some things are changing. I'm not really sure. I'm not I'm not really sure what um, how we want to approach that if we want to. Uh, try to write, get some articles in the leader. I don't know. I think, I think we definitely do. Um, I have to touch base with Carolyn to see. Well, actually, Diane, I just saw you unmute. So did you have a thought on, on the article? No, I think that was just um, by chance. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, I just have to touch base with Carolyn um, real quick because I haven't had a chance to follow up with her since our last finance meeting. Um, and then we'll go, I'll kind of guide her through the, the Google forms to get all the stuff in, to get an article in. What was it that, that um, I was watching the last meeting from my bed and so I, I didn't have anything around me, I, but uh, 
Brian said something that we were going to do, but we had never followed up together. And so now here it is again. He said something at the last meeting and then John said, put it on the form. <laughs> um, do you remember what that was? I, I, I mean, it was the, the tours of the building. That could, maybe it was that. I well, we did, that, that was advertised, so. Um, I don't, I'm gonna have to go back and watch it now. I'll have to, yeah, I'll have to go back and watch. You know what? I'll, I'll, I can text Brian, maybe he'll remember. Um, yeah, uh, we, I don't know, it, it, it's kind of like going into, um, I don't want to go into the building committee stuff too much and, and kind of um, duplicate efforts. I, you know, Laura is doing an awful lot. So I don't, mm -hmm. you know, I don't, I don't know if there's anything that we should be doing on our end. Um, other than just pushing out what, I mean, whatever is going on, I, which I think there th that has been being done. Yeah, yeah, I I think that there definitely is um, a lot um, going out and organized in regards to the school project, and you know I wonder if the you know the value here might be in um, you know focusing on the budget for this group. Right. Uh, yeah, I would appreciate that because it's like there, you know, there are many, many things happening. But um, all right. So maybe we can um, pull together some we have. There's another budget. Oh, I, I don't have I can't get my other calendar up here, but we, we have, have the second reading of our budget is coming up next Thursday. At our board yeah. Meeting. On the 18th. There's a whole lot going on between then, it sounds like. Okay, well, let's at least, you know, get that advertised, you know, uh, maybe a couple times in between now and then. I, uh, You usually put that stuff in the newsletter anyway, or no? I think generally like, um, you know, I think we just put in the calendar that like the upcoming, you know, meeting would have that, but, you know, certainly if, if you wanted to, as a board, have that be like a section within the district newsletter, um, we could easily put that in for you. Okay. All right, I can, uh, this, let's see here, three things going in tomorrow, it'll be. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it won't be repetitive. At least it'll be uh, not that it, it not that I think it is, but that that we we got um, some feedback that we don't put out. You know, we 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 tend to put out the same things, which um, I guess every everybody has a perception, but. I'm trying to be more cognizant of that, the way, you know, putting out things that look different or visually different. Um, all right. All right. So we have a busy couple of weeks coming up. So let's see. I really wish I could, this computer screen's too small to have three things open, but. Uh, is there anything else that we, so so once the second reading happens, unless it go, so if the second reading happens and it goes back there for some reason, the town council says, says no, they want X, Y, and Z, then we're once again in a little bit of a holding pattern. Are we expecting that? I mean, I think it's it's hard to anticipate without having any, you know, discussion at public meetings or votes made. Um, I think that we're kind of in a status quo position at this point, right? Okay. So if there are different decisions that are made at, at public meetings by the council, then, 
you know, mm. certainly the, the board would, you know, take that feedback and act accordingly. Okay. So I guess we can just put out there that there's a second reading next week. People can weigh in. Um, here's where you can find the information. And, and then, um, then once we know what it, you know, all the pieces are, we can figure out what we want to do for any kind of articles. Yeah. And again, like, you know, as it relates to promoting the school budget, like, you know, I think if you reference the school budget book, right, like there might be a couple of um, key tidbits that you want to take away from there. Like, what does the budget provide for, right? Like the budget yes. will ensure that, you know, current programming is maintained, that, you know, student needs are being met both for, you know, um, you know, intervention or helping kids make catch up growth, et cetera, right? So I think you can probably lift some of the language from that to, yeah. you know, to, again, try to help further educate the community in the key takeaways about, you know, this is why, like this budget is really important um, for the students who are attending our schools. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think I think that's an important thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, all right, we will see at the end of next week, and then um, we'll have to hit the ground running. I I think we can we can kind of uh, coordinate that with Carolyn and and. Uh, Jenna and yeah. I'm just going to start paraphrasing um, Jeff's blurb in the beginning of the budget book. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. we'll start, pull out the key points from that, and then we can Absolutely, at least put that right? out. Like, what are those key points that we're trying to say? Like if you had, you know, a 30 second blurb or a two minute elevator speech, what would be the, you know, and you talk, you bumped into anybody in the community, right? Like, so John talks to a bunch of people in the community. What would, you know, what would be the things right off the top of your head that would be like, here's why this school budget is important. Boom, boom, boom. Right. We, you know, it became obvious last night that a lot, you know, a lot of people were getting their information from Facebook moms group. So um, we maybe could get some, some people to post that it's stuff. Post there, yeah. 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 Um, something that you know it's so funny I, I that's great it's a good piece of information to have it's it was it was uh, interesting to hear yeah I think uh, okay. you know I think anytime that you talk to people right like you you get more information and you get more informative more you can feel more informed when you say so like how did you get your information how do you find out about you know what's happening and and then that clues us into okay what are those other channels that maybe, you know, certainly as a, you know, as, as like an employee of the school district, we're not in a position to post on a page like that, but right. as community, we are. you absolutely are. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, um, you know, I think there's other people who would, would certainly do that or tune in and, and uh, do it sort of organically um, if we got that started, but it's, it's starting to show up. Uh, for the building stuff a lot more. So that's really good. Right. Um, all right. Is there anything else that we need? I mean, that, that feels like a lot. I don't want to, I mean, everybody has a meeting, another meeting coming up here, right? There are always more meetings. <laughs> <laughs> right, four, oh, six, six. All right. Um, I think that that's plenty. So, so John, we, you know, that can happen on the 25th itself. You don't, you know, you don't have any specific things to, that you need to grab, but that, I think that'll be pretty low key. I really hope people come. Um, I'm not sure what to expect, but hopefully at least we get the word out. And that's another thing that we should post to the moms group. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah there, I mean that place is active I see things and a lot of times I 
I refrain from saying anything, even though I want to. Uh, <laughs> but hard fought lesson. Oh yeah, yeah. So I'm like, uh, too many times I've said something. Well, you can't say that. Oh, okay. Well, um, but you can repost on there if you want. I'm yeah, sure. I will do that. That I will do. Um. Yeah. All right. So I think that that is it until we have until we have some things that we can um, publish. Maybe um, trying to get some letters to the editor regarding the budget mm -hmm. um, other than just school board members. I, I mean, I. Um, I'm right. I'm sure the people that you know that you could tap on the shoulder and say, hey, um, you know, would you be willing to put yourself out there and, you know, put out some advertisement, you know, like a letter to editor about the yeah. budget, et cetera, if I helped you in terms of, you know, if you needed some information or, you know, how can, how can we help to further educate and build that? Well, and because the budget vote was pushed back to after the end of school, I think that we might um, want to really encourage people to vote, you know, get their um, ballots early if they're going away. I mean, I'm going to be away that week. So yep. um, great point. Right. Uh, like get the information about absentee ballots and how people can ask for them. And, you know, when does voting start here at town hall, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. I think that this, this one, yeah, I think this one's going to be hard fought for the school community because oh, we're going to, yeah, it will be definitely good to push the early voting because people will forget other, I mean, it's, there's a lot going on at the end of the year. Yeah. All right. So we can, um, maybe we'll get like a, you know, a post that goes out several times about that and then something in the news is it inappropriate to put it in the newsletter you think like hey you can get your ballot i mean i, I don't know we're providing information right we're letting right. them know we're, we're not saying go vote <laughs> vote yes we're just saying here's how to do it all right all right that all sounds good yeah i don't think there's anything else okay I'll get to work doing a Canva or two. Um, and I'll find out what Brian was asking us, uh, asking us to do. All right, that's it. Right. Oh, you, you can so have 25 you. minutes back to yourself. Have a great afternoon. All right, you too. See Bye. -bye. Ya. Bye.